Hello everybody, it's Muriata here again, and it's time, it's time, it's finally time. Yes, my January haul has finally gotten here. Would have been here sooner, but you know, I couldn't get out of work. I'm taking a vacation day today, so I was able to go pick it up. And yeah, it's a big giant box. And this is the second time I've recorded this, so sorry the box is already open. I've got a new tripod and I accidentally shut the phone off, so yay. But before we get the big giant box, what's different? We've got some wall scrolls. So I'm, I'm not going to spend much time on them because they're wall scrolls and not 100% sure of authenticity, but the description said they were, so yay. Uh, we've got a uh, Purple Heart and Iris Heart from Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3. V generation, gotta have me my neppy nep, and we've got Jabril from No Game No Life. Yes, gotta love Jabril, gotta love neppy nep. Yay! So yeah, I got some wall scrolls. No reason, I just have been really wanting them. But we don't care about that. What we care about is a big, giant, frickin' box. That's already open. So this is probably the biggest box I've ever gotten from Ami Ami. And it's got uh, six, six scale figures in there. So I was expecting it to be big. And I was expecting it to be expensive. And it was big. And it's expensive. It was like $95 to ship this. So like I said, unfortunately, I've already cut it open. But oh well. So we've got the Ami Ami card. Happy New Year. She's in her Shrine Maiden outfit. Yay. And then on the back, she's in a little New Year's outfit. Yay. So that's the Ami Ami card. So let's look inside the box, get a little sneak peek. Ah, we've got some fallen paper. Yay. So we've got some figures, lots of them. A little bit of overpackaging, but I mean it's a big giant box. Let's put that off to the side so we can do one at a time. So who should we start with? Hmm, let me see. How about Neppy Nep, of course. <laughs> Let's uh, adjust this a little bit. So yeah, this is Purple Heart. Uh, she is in her dress. This is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, of course. This is from the animation. Uh, she is manufactured by Wing and is a 1 7 scale. And she was released uh, January 26th of 2017. She was the last one in this haul to be released and was basically had to wait for her to be released to be shipped. Uh, so I ordered her way back on September 23rd of 2016. And I paid 10,510 yen for her. So when I ordered her, she was, the conversion rate was about $105.10. But it's improved since then for me, yay. And I wound up paying about $93.88 for her. So there is the front of her box. Uh, Wing is also the manufacturer of my current Purple Heart, which is a pretty awesome figure. There is the side of the box. There is the back of the box. So the box is very like flat and matte. There is the other side. It's not glossy at all except for like the silver lettering. Uh, there is the top of the box. And the bottom of the box. So yay, got a second neppy nep. So the dress version isn't my favorite version of her, but it's still pretty dang good. And we'll see. She should look good when we get her open. Okay. So who should I open, or not open, but bring up next? How about my other one that was just released? So this one I went back and forth on and wasn't going to get her, but then the picture started showing up and I decided to get her. And she is definitely larger than she looked like in the picture. So that's a good thing. So we've got Rurika, Lilika, however you want to say it. 
tilt this down a little bit more. I'm trying to get used to this little tripod. So this is an original character. She is from Brilliant Stars, which is an art book. And I should have wrote down the artist. Uh, Misato Mitsumi, I think. Uh, and she is manufactured by Flair. Flair did my Caster Extra plain clothes, which is my favorite figure. So it should be a pretty damn good figure. Uh, and she was released uh, January 12th of 2017. And like I said, I ordered her a little bit late, so I ordered her uh, January 22nd of 2017. So one of the things that kind of made me hold off on ordering her t as well was she's fairly expensive. So I paid 14,400 yen for her, which is about $128.63. And like I said, I was going back and forth on her. She was in my list when she first came out because she looked pretty cool. But I wasn't sure, didn't know her, and she, like I said, she was expensive. So I took her out of the list. Then the picture started showing up, and I'm like, yeah, I'll get her. The pictures did look uh, quite small, make her look small. So I commented, and then they said, no, she's actually pretty big. I mean, for a non-scale, I would say one-seventh, maybe on the upper end. So she should... She'll, she'll definitely fit in with the collection very nicely. Uh, there's the top of the box and the bottom of the box. So that's, I'm going to say Lilica, because R's and L's in Japanese are basically interchangeable sometimes. Okay, so which one should I do next? Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. <clears throat> So honestly, I don't have much uh, expectations for this figure because, I mean, let's face it, I paid uh, less than 20 bucks for her. She's quite an old one. It is Plug, Plug Cryostat. She is from Fight Ipats Juden-chan, and she is manufactured by Kotobukiya and is a 1 7th scale. So probably the reason she was so cheap is she's very old. She was originally released in August of 2007. Then she was later re-released in uh, September of 2009. I don't know which version this is, but it, it was a pre-owned at AmiAmi. And it's AB quality. Uh, and I ordered her on January 7th of 2017. So, yay. And like I said, I paid... Uh, 2,180 yen, which was $19.47. A scale figure looks to be decent enough quality for under $20. Wow. So yeah, there is the front of plugs box and the side and the back and the other side. Uh, there's the top. And there's the bottom. It, they put a window in the bottom. That's unique. But yeah, that's Plug. This was a complete impulse buy. I like Jude and Chen, the anime. And like I said, it was under 20 bucks, so why not? Okay, so the next one we're going to pull out is my other pre-owned for the month. This is another anime that I liked but is kind of old, and the figure is kind of, probably kind of old. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like six month, six years old. So we've got Edis. So this is Edis from, or Ellis, as Griffin spells her name. She is from Asobi ni Ikkyo. I hate the English name of the show, which is Cat Planet Cuties. It's stupid. It's Let's Play. Sobi ni Ikkyo. Uh, she, uh, like I said, she is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises and is a 1 7 scale. From what I've read, you know, Griffin has that reputation of not always being the greatest, but I've read this one is pretty good. It's one of the better heiresses out there. Uh, so she was originally released June 7th of 2011. So almost six years old. 
hopefully she'll be good. And I ordered her uh, January 21st of 2017. Like I said, I kept adding more and more to the order. And I paid uh, not a horrible price. Uh, she's A, a minus B, so there's no seals, but it should be brand new. But I paid 5,480 yen, or $48.95. So not a bad price. And I've kind of wanted an heiress figure, but they never really done a very good justice to her. This one should be pretty good though. So there is the front of her box, and the side of her box, and the back of her box, and the other side. There is the top of the box, and plain boring bottom. Yay, Eris. Looks like her tail is not attached. Which it's meant to be like that. Okay. Two more to go. Uh, we'll pull this one out because the other one's going to require some extra work. So I've fallen in love with Tamamo. Tamamo no Mai. Also known as Caster Extra. So I've got another figure of her. This one was more of the original one that came out of her. This is now my third caster figure. Won't be the last. Uh, yeah. So this is Caster Extra, or Tamamo no Mai. She is from Fate Extra. And she is manufactured by Fat Company. And is a 1 8 scale. She looks to be a very fairly large 1 8. And she was originally released uh, January 10th of 2012. And then she got re-released uh, September 26th of 2012. And then she got re-released a third time, uh, October 11th of 2016. And since this is a new figure for Mamiami, I am assuming this is the third re-release, the October 11th, 2016 one. And I ordered her January 7th. And once again, I didn't pay t a lot of money for her. I paid uh, 8,100 yen, or about $73.36, so not horrible. And I mean, it's Caster. I'm loving me Caster. Tamamo. So there's the front of her box, and the side of her box. The back of her box with a nice full shot of her. And the other side. Then the top, which is kind of boring. And the bottom, at least it's got a silhouette of her. Yeah. Casta, 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 casta. And put that off to the side. So we've got one more figure today. Yeah. So this was one that I'm kind of was going back and forth on again. And I decided why not let's pick her up because I really love the other ones in the series that I have. So we've got a cardboard box. Yes, a cardboard box. This is why I said this one's gonna have a little bit more effort to open. Let's open this one up and see who it is. If you can read Japanese, you probably know. If you can read English and it's on camera, you probably know. But it may be a little low. Now you can probably know. Of course, I open her upside down. But that's okay, we gotta get the tissue paper off. So, yay! This time we have Kerasaten Arcana. She is from Shinra Bancho Chocolate, so my Asterote and my Esmodius. She'll fit in very nicely with them. Uh, she is manufactured by Mega House, part of their Excellent Model series, and is a 1 8 scale figure. And she was released uh, November 31st of 2015. And like a few others, I ordered her on the 7th of this month. Or last month, actually. And again, I got a fairly decent price on her. Uh, she was listed as new, so... Odd that Ami Ami would have her in stock for like two years new. Or a year and a half or whatever. But I paid uh, 8,980 yen or $80.21. Not bad. Um, 
So, in researching about her a little bit, she was uh, originally in, like, Amiami exclusive with a couple other stores. But after a while, I guess she wasn't selling that great. They made her available on the international site. And, yeah, I picked her up. And, I mean, she's cute and everything. There's just one little thing that kind of drove me away from her. I'll talk about it a little bit more when I do her actual unboxing. But there's the front of Arcana's box with a nice full shot of her. There is the side of the box. And the back of the box. And the other side. There is the top of the box. And plain boring bottom. So yeah, Arcana. So yeah, I spent a lot of money. Let's see if, how we can do with uh, getting these figures up here and get them, try to get them in frame. Probably not going to happen very nicely. Yeah, because there's just so many figures. Ah, maybe if we push it way back and stack them a little bit. Is up there, here to kind of plug, and then tilt the camera up, and we've got a nice full shot of our January haul. Six figures, most I've ever gotten in one month, and what the hell am I doing with my money? Seriously, I need to stop. I can't stop. But anyways, like I said, this is my January haul. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to Go ahead and stop this video now so that I can start getting to the individual unboxings. I can't wait. So yeah, I, I hope you... Wh wait, what? What do you mean stop? What? What? What do you mean I'm not done? What the hell? I, I hope this these are all the figures in the box. Wait, what do you mean? Say that again. The mailman just dropped off a load of wrath on my porch. What the hell? Okay, if you say so, let's uh, do it. So, yeah. We've got another box. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tilt it up. I'm going to tilt it down so you don't see my address. But, yeah. So, I ordered another figure. And uh, she wasn't supposed to actually be in stock until Sunday. But it's now Friday, and she's here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this one open. And we'll open the bottom of the box because why the hell not? So this was one of those figures where I kind of was interested in her. And I started looking her up. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for her and see if I'll buy her. I have found her. I bought her from Amazon. Because I actually managed to get free shipping on her. Like the day after I decided to start keeping my eye out, she showed up. For, with Prime Shipping, which was a plus. I found her for less money at other places, but shipping would have been like 45 or $50, which would have wound up being making her total cost more, like $20 more expensive, 20 or 30 So who do we got? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to risk uh, not adult contenting this video. Ah, uh, shoot, the box is ripped a little bit, but I don't care about boxes. So we've got Satan. <laughs> yes, we've got Satan. Let me uh, bring out a new page of notes. This is the Fundo Nozo version, or she is the Sin of Wrath. She is from the Seven Deadly Sins series. And I've kind of had my eye on them for a while. But never really got into them. I don't know what triggered me, but I saw her and I decided to buy her. Or start looking into her. I'm not going to get the whole set. I'll say that right off the bat. But there are three others I'm kind of thinking about and keeping my eye out, eye out for. But anyways, th this is Satan, Seven Deadly Sins, uh, Sin of Wrath. She is manufactured by Orchid Seed and is a 1-8 scale. Uh, No. <laughs> She definitely is larger, I'd say, I'd say close to one-sixth. But we'll, we'll see once we actually get her open. 
and she was originally released uh, February 25th of 2015. I wound up ordering her, like I said, from Amazon on January 31st. And it was from a seller called Hinode Japan, who ha does uh, fulfillment through Amazon. It was listed as back ordered until uh, February 5th. But I decided, eh, I want her. And it's prime shipping, so yay. And then the next day, I got a, a text message saying, hey, your package is shipped. And I'm like, what? So yeah, uh, that worked out for me. She wound up getting into this haul. And I paid $119.99. So not horrible. Um, and like I said, I found her cheaper other places, but the shipping was totally crazy. So I can see why it's a big, big, big box and it was pretty heavy. But after I ordered her, it must have been the only one by, by that seller because she's no she's still on Amazon, but from third-party sellers, no longer available for prime shipping. So keep your eye out. You might get a good deal if you want her. Anyways, now I really am done. So I hope you enjoyed. This is my January what the hell am I doing with my money haul. Seven freaking figures. Two wall scrolls. Yeah, I need to stop, seriously. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.